everyone on this week's wellness episode of Anoki Daily Spotlight TV. We're going to be talking about the importance of warming up and cooling down when you're working out. Now many of us are under a pretty serious time crunch. We want to get in and get out of the gym as fast as possible. But unfortunately it's really important for us to take those extra few minutes before and after to ease our bodies in and out of what it is that we're doing. So let's get warmed up. Now warm-ups are really important because they allow our bodies to ease into what's up ahead. Our blood starts flowing into the right muscle groups, we get our heart rate to slowly increase so as to alleviate any shock to the system, and overall head to toe we get ready for a more intense workout. If you don't warm up, you fail to prepare your body for the workout ahead, which can lead to injury and strain. So if you've ever felt that back pain or those shin splints after a workout, chances are you didn't warm up your body enough. Now before we get into the specifics, it's important to note that there isn't one universal exercise that you can do to warm up your body. What you want to consider doing is a lighter version of whatever exercise you'll be doing throughout your workout. So if you're going for a heavy run, you want to jog lighter and slower for a period of time and then pick up the pace and get into the full-fledged run. If you're doing a lower body exercise or lower body workout, you want to do something like slow squats up and down to get the legs working. If you're doing an upper body workout like bicep curls, you want to do a light set up and down to get that specific muscle group working. So you've just completed your workout and now it's time to stop. But before you do, it's important to cool down. Cooling down allows the body to alleviate the chance of stiffness and soreness. It allows the blood to start flowing head to toe again as opposed to just in the muscle groups that we're working. And it really reduces the risk of injury. From a cardio perspective, the most important thing you can do is slow down the pace and intensity of what it is that you're doing before you come to a complete stop. So if you're out for an intense run, you want to take this to a brisk jog followed by a lighter walk until you feel like it's safe to stop and then get into some stretching. A great example of a stretch for a runner is the quad stretch. What you want to do is take your hand, place it on the outside of your foot, grab onto the foot and push it towards the glutes, and then pull the foot into the glute and feel a nice stretch down the front of the quad. Keep the core in nice and tight and allow there to be a nice stretch but no actual pain or tension in the muscle. If you feel any of that, it means you're stretching a little bit too hard. When you're done with that stretch, count for a few seconds, release the foot, and switch to the other leg. In terms of weight training your lower and upper body, once again, when you're done a workout, it's important to stretch and relax those muscles. This will allow you to enhance your flexibility, alleviate soreness and stiffness, and once again, get those muscles ready for the next workout that you're going to do. A great lower body stretch is a simple forward bend. What you're going to do is suck your core in nice and tight, Take your hands down in front of your body and simply hinge forward, allowing your body to be loose. Now depending on your flexibility, you're either going to want to keep your knees softly bent or you're going to want to lock them so that you get a more intense hamstring stretch down the back of your legs. And finally, let's do a standing bicep stretch to tackle those biceps after that workout. For this stretch, what you're going to do is take your hand, find a wall, Place your thumb facing down against the wall and slowly turn your body away from the wall. What you want to make sure you do is have a full extension in the arm so that the arm is straight and avoid any tension or tugging in the shoulder. Hold here for a couple of counts and then slowly release. And there we go. So the next time you work out, don't forget to warm up and cool down. For more of our show, catch us on anokimedia.com and our YouTube channel, and be sure to interact with us on Facebook and Twitter. Catch you next time.